Hello and welcome all of you to Bring Up Education. Today we are going to start with another topic of English grammar and that is clauses. This video is meant for class 9th and 10th students. Let's discuss what clauses are. Here you can see two definitions of clauses. The first one reads, a clause is a part of a sentence, a string of words, which expresses a proposition and typically consists of at least a subject and a verb, and is joined to the rest of the sentence by conjunction. It is not a complete sentence on its own. So, what do you understand by the given paragraph here? It says that a clause may or may not be a complete sentence. It may or may not have a complete sense of its own but it always consists of a subject and a verb. The next definition reads, Clauses are a group of related words which can be within a sentence or itself as an independent sentence and has both subject and predicate. They will meet him in the market. Here they are going to give us an example that they will meet him in the market. The part they. They is referring to the subject of the sentence, whereas will meet him in the market. The next part is predicate, will meet him. The word meet, meet is referring to the verb of the sentence. Therefore, it satisfies the condition of being a clause. Let's move to our next slide. For example, Kritika sings. Kritika is the subject, whereas sings is the verb. Both the condition of being a clause has been satisfied here. They will meet him in the market. The sentence we have discussed just now. Yesterday, we played baseball. Yesterday, we played baseball. We is the subject and played is the verb. So, yesterday, we played baseball satisfies the condition of being a clause. There are four parts of clauses. First one is noun clause. Second is adverbial clause of condition. Third is adverbial clause of time. And fourth is relative clause. So let's discuss what are noun clauses first. Noun clauses always answers the question what. When we are going to question the statement that what it is talking about or what is happening, the answer we are going to get is in the form of noun clauses. It always begins with pronoun, adverb, or conjunctions. We are going to discuss in detail very soon when we are going to move to the next slides. Adverbial clause of condition. Initiate with if, unless or whether. As you can see by the name that adverbial clause of condition must have conditional sentences. You are absolutely right. Here adverbial clause of condition always discuss about conditional statements. Now what's the next topic? Adverbial clause of time. Referring to a period of time, adverbial clause of time always talk about a period of time. Here, everything we are discussing would be related to time in some aspect or the other. For example, we are going to use words such as before, after, since or when. Relative clauses. In case of relative clauses, we are going to use it as the function of adjectives. They are also called Adjective clauses. Now, let's move to our next slide. Point to remember. Adverbial clauses describe how, why or when something has happened. We are going to discuss this in very detail in our next slides. How? She was so tired that she could not stand. How much tired she was? If we ask the question, how much tired she was? She was so tired that she could not stand. We are talking about the amount of tiredness she had that she couldn't stand. Next, why? Since you have apologized, you will not be punished. Since you have apologized. When we are talking about the sentence, since you have apologized, we are having since here. But when we are asking a question, why? Why you wouldn't be punished since you have apologized? The answer is apologized is a verb and you is the subject. Therefore, since you have apologized is the phrase in the sentence. The next one is 
when since i returned home from vacations since i returned home from vacations since when since i returned home here i is the subject and return is the verb therefore it's a phrase or clause noun clauses a noun clause is dependent clause that act as a noun a noun clause act as a noun as you can read by the definition but do you know how they act as a noun so first let's discuss how to recognize noun clauses noun clauses begin with words such as how that what whatever when where whether which whichever who whoever whom whomever and why for example the focus of our work is how we can satisfy our customers most effectively our focus lies on what that how we can satisfy our customers most effectively so when we are asking what we are getting the answer that the focus of our lies that how we can satisfy our customers most effectively so whenever we are going to ask the question what to the sentence then we are going to get the answer how we can satisfy customers effectively the next one is she knows what i want she knows what she knows what i want when we are going to question what to the sentence we are going to get the answer what i want let's move to the next slide adverbial clause of condition adverbial clause of condition as we have discussed just now they always refer to conditional statements here the conditions are as such like if unless or whether like if something has happened or something will happen if the first condition has been fulfilled the next action can only take place if the first condition has been fulfilled here like if we win we will go to celebrate the first condition is if we win the next thing that is going to happen as the result of that condition is we will go to celebrate the next sentence is unless you are tired let's go for a walk unless you are tired unless you are tired is giving us the condition that if you are not tired then only you can go for a walk here so in these sentences we can see that we are discussing conditions that is conditional sentences are being discussed here so the best thing to recognize such sentences is whenever we are using if unless or whether and whenever we are talking about some condition it means it is using adverbial clauses of conditions adverbial clauses of time by name you can see that we are going to talk about time here adverbial clauses of time what are they here whenever we are taking a sentence whenever we are talking about something even some event that is happening so we are using some words like after before when or since these words are here to describe the time of the work or the action which has been done adverbial clause of time are used when something happens by referring to a period of time or to an event like i haven't talked to him since he arrived since when since he arrived here we are talking about a period of time the doors open when i press the button when does the doors open when i press the button so this part is a clause here we can also observe that both the conditions are satisfied for being a clause the first condition was that it should have a subject and next condition is it should have a verb in the second sentence we can see that when i press the button here i is the subject and presses the verb since he arrived since he he is the subject and arrived is the verb let's move to the next slide relative clauses a relative clause will begin with a relative pronoun relative pronouns what are relative pronouns we have already discussed what relative pronouns are in our previous videos these are who whom whose which or that for example who loves pizza crust here we are starting the sentence with who the second one is the house which our neighbor bought 
is made of stones. We are talking about a house which our neighbor bought. So, how we are describing the house? The house which our neighbor bought. Here, we are using which our neighbor bought as an adjective. So, relative clauses are also called adjective clauses. So, now as we have discussed so many things about clauses, it's time to discuss few examples as well. Jay believed that Amit was guilty. What would be the correct answer for this? Think. Jay believed that Amit was guilty. Is it an adverbial clause? Is it a relative clause? Or is it a noun clause? The correct answer would be noun clause. Why? If we are going to ask a question, Jay believed what? Then the answer would be that Amit was guilty. So, this is a noun clause. Pizza, which most of the people love, is not very healthy. This one is very easy. Pizza, which most of the people love. We are describing pizza. Or, this part of the sentence is acting as an adjective for pizza. So, it is a relative clause. We will go to the game even if it rains. We will go to the game even if it rains. Which clause is this? Adverb clause, relative clause or noun clause? Think. This is an adverbial clause. Why? Because here we are having a condition. Although we are not considering that condition, we are saying we will go to the game even if it rains. But the word if is helping us recognize which clause it is. And here this condition is that even if it rains, we are not considering whether it's going to be rain or not. But we will go to the game. So it's an adverbial clause of condition. Now we are going to discuss an exercise here. Complete the dialogue by choosing the correct answers from the options below. Jay, your trouser is very fine. Please tell me. What would be the correct answer for this? Please tell me why you bought it, where did you buy it from, where you bought it from, when you bought it. Think. What can be the possible answer for this one? The correct answer is where you bought it from. So, why this would be the correct answer? When we are going to discuss some sentences that we are asking someone to tell us about something. Here, Jay is saying, your trouser is very fine. And tell me, what would be, what is he curious to know about? He is curious to know that where his friend has bought that trouser from. So, where you bought it from? The next is Rohit. I bought it from a showroom. I bought it from a showroom which is situated at Sarojini Nagar. I bought it from a showroom whom is situated at Sarojini Nagar. I bought it from a showroom who is situated at Sarojini Nagar or I bought it from a showroom where it is situated at Sarojini Nagar. What is the correct answer for this? A showroom is a thing and the pronoun we are going to use for it is which. So, third one would be the correct answer. J. Will you tell me, will you tell me how much it cost you? How much did it cost you? Which it cost you? How many did it cost you? So, what would be the correct answer for this? Think. The correct answer would be how much it cost you. We are going to get the amount that how much it cost him. So, the first one would be the correct answer. So, students, I hope that your doubts are clear now and you may get the answers of your queries and discuss further. If there are any queries regarding this part, then you may ask your questions as well. They would be surely answered.
थैंक यू